you ever wondered what happens to the water you use after it circles the drain? Microorganisms remove pollutants and pathogens from water during wastewater treatment. Without them, we would be drowning in poop and all the diseases that come with it. Microorganisms actually help us do many things. They help us make cheese and yogurt and wine. They make crops grow stronger. They make chemicals that we use in many different industries. And they're the reason we even have antibiotics in certain vaccines. Microorganisms and studying them in the laboratory have given us so many groundbreaking discoveries. But scientists estimate that we're only able to grow 2% of microbes on Earth in the lab. <sighs> only 2%. 2% has given us those antibiotics. 2% has given us the vaccine for malaria. And we're grateful for the 2%. Don't get me wrong. But we live in a time where antibiotic resistance is a greater problem than ever before. Today, scientists are racing to develop a vaccine for a global pandemic. Water security still threatens the most developed countries and we need more than 2%. So I'm going after the other 98%. Let me tell you how. The past few decades of research have given us an explosion in the amount of data we have on microbial communities and what they can do. Starting with the thousands of genes in a single organism's DNA, all the way through to the chemicals they're actually producing and consuming. I'm talking big data. What we don't yet have is an efficient way to use that big data. I'm using computer programming and machine learning to mine the big data from environmental microbial communities living outside of the lab in their real world environments. By using the power of computing, we can draw connections among these millions of data points. Connections that we as researchers would have otherwise missed if we were re reviewing the data ourselves. Using this method, we can determine the exact conditions that these microbes need to thrive, mimic those conditions back in the lab and increase that 2%. Imagine what the other 98% could give us. An organism that can mineralize salt out of seawater for on-demand desalination anytime, any place. The next antibiotic to keep us ahead of resistance an organism that can remove dangerous pathogens from indoor air. The unknown 98% will shape our world in ways we have yet to imagine.